In recent labor management negotiations, several issues were identified, and points assigned to them indicating relative importance to each side as follows. Use the adjusted winner procedure to determine a fair resolution between labor and management. So the first thing we'll do is determine who won each issue uh, based on how many points they assigned to it. The side that gave the most points to it will get the issue for now. So starting with base pay, labor gave it more points than management. Incentive pay, management would win that. Healthcare benefits and worker safety, labor assigned it more points. And then the other three would go to management because they gave it more points. Okay, so next thing I want to do is figure out are the points equal? Because if the points are equal, then we would have a fair resolution. So let's add these up, management and labor. So management has the 10, 18, 22, and 16. Uh, adding these together, we would get 66. Labor has 23, 12, and 15. Adding that together, we get 50. So this is clearly not going to be a fair resolution as it stands, because these are not equal. So what I'm going to have to do is transfer an item from management over to labor. But the order we do this in is very important because we don't want to just throw something over to the labor side that the labor didn't even want, because again, that would not be fair. So what we're going to do is find what are called point ratios of all the items from the management side to see how close they are to what the labor side gave to those issues as well. So starting with the incentive pay, management gave uh, that 10 points, labor gave it 5. So the point ratio is just simply the division of those two. So 10 over 5 is 2. In other words, all this means is that management wanted that issue twice as much as labor. For opportunity for promotion, we would have 18 over 13. So dividing that, we would get about 1.38. So that's definitely closer uh, to 1 as the incentive pay was. Or I already did that one. Retirement package was 22, and then dividing that by 20, we get 1.1, so that's even closer to 1. And then employee accountability was 16 over 12, which is 1 and a third, so that's about 1.33. Now, the reason I kept saying that it's close to 1 is because the closer that they are together, the closer they're going to be to 1. Uh, so 22 divided by 20 is as close as we can get to 1 based on all these four. So what that means is that the retirement package was as wanted by management and labor, again, relatively close to each other. So what that means is that we're going to transfer part of that package over to labor. And the reason I say part of the package is if I take all 22 points and move them to the labor side, now labor will have more points, 72, than management has, and again, that would not be fair. So what we're going to do is transfer a part of it, let's call it P for part. Okay, so on the management side of things, uh, they still get the incentive pay. They still get the opportunity for promotion. And then again, they're getting a part of the retirement package. So 22 points, but we're getting just a portion of that. And then the employee accountability. On the labor side, they still get everything that they uh, asked for because they didn't have any of that retirement package. So we already know that's 50. And then they're getting a part of the retirement package, but again, they only valued it at 20, so they're not going to get 22 uh, times that. They're going to get 20. Now, I can't say P again because we're not assuming that P is going to be the same. More than likely, it's not. So let's say, for example, this P was 80%, and that means labor would get the other 20%. If management uh, maybe the P worked out to be 60% and labor gets 40% and so on. So in other words, it's always taken this P away from 100%. 100% written as a number, a whole number, um, would be 1. So then this would be simply 1 minus the other portion, which is P. Okay, so again, the reason we did that is because 100% minus the other one would give us the other part. Okay, so again, if I want this to be a fair resolution, these need to be equal to each other. So then at this point, we're just going to be solving for P, and this is solving a linear equation. So on the left side, let's add everything that we can together, which is 10, 18, and 16, which gives us 44. 
on the right side, we can go ahead and distribute that 20. Still solving for p, let's clean up the right side a little bit more to be 70 minus 20p. Okay, so solving, I'm going to have to bring the p over, might as well try to keep it positive, so I'm going to add 20p to both sides. So that makes that into a 42p. And then to get p by itself, I'll subtract 44, giving us 26, again from both sides. So then p dividing would be 26 over 42. And then 26 over 42, uh, that simplifies to 13 over 21. Okay, so that means that uh, the management side gets 13 21st of uh, the retirement package, which means that labor would get 1 minus P. So 1 minus 13 21st would give us 8 21st. Okay, so putting this all together, let's see what each side has. So management had the incentive pay, the opportunity for promotion. 13 21st of the retirement package and then employee accountability. Now labor uh, gets the base pay, health care benefits, worker safety, and then the other part of the retirement package.